Hello, my name is Marvin Harrison Hunter, and I'm here with Bobby Narendo uh, from Malawi. He's a, a painter, an artist here in Malawi. I first met Bobby last year when I came here on a uh, mission trip. I'm a pastor uh, from uh, Arizona in the USA. And I first met Bobby last year when I came here to do a mission trip. And, and I was very intrigued with Bobby's uh, ability as an artist. I was also fascinated by his story, uh, his life story. And I'm back in Africa again in Malawi on my second mission trip. And uh, I'm interviewing Bobby again. And I would like to have him tell his story once again uh, for America uh, and for the, uh, uh, for, for the world. Uh, I, I want to ask you, Bobby, uh, can you just state your name and, and your age? My name is Bob Aragini Renda. Okay. I was born in the northern part of Malawi, okay. called Rumbi. Okay. That was 1950. On 14th May. Okay. Now, when I grew up, when I was about eight, there were signs. A lot of you know people knew that this this boy is going to do something right. in the future. Right. Then I started doing a lot of drawing, such pencil drawings. I could even start drawing on the ground. I was busy when going to school. Even my teachers knew very well that I would do something. I'll become a very good artist in the future. They are concentrated. When I came to a higher primary school, I tra I, I, tra I traveled as far as what Zambia. Zambia. Zambia is yeah. my, my 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 next destination. Your next destination. Yes. Okay. Um, my uncle was working in the copper belt mine, called Bancroft. That's northern part of Zambia, closer to Zaire, call it Congo. Yes. Democratic Republic of Congo. When I was doing some paintings there, I started going, I wanted to go to Sevilla School, then I went to Chirambo Sevilla School, go to Chirambo Sevilla School, formerly called Bancroft Sevilla School. Okay. And I was doing a lot of work there. Then I met a certain teacher by the name Williams, a Briton. He had, she had interest in my, in my work. So you met a teacher named Williams? Yeah, Mrs. Williams. Mrs. Williams. Yes. So I was very much interested in doing painting, and I started doing painting. Sometimes, when she, when I'm free, I was given a, an access to teach my fellow students. Yes. At the end of the day, sometimes we had some sort of you know competitions. Then I, there was a certain Briton British artist by the name David Parry, who was the first a, artist visited. Uh, Zambia. David Parry, he is also a very well-known artist in Britain. Then, after leaving the place, leaving what is Zambia, then uh, came another what artist by the name David Shepard. David Shepard, and that's this book that we yes. have right here. Yes, 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 yes. I had interest in, with him. He visited Zambia, a number of places, and he went to Kitwe. Yes. And he formed the Chongololo Club. Right. Chongololo Club was a club that any interested person dealing with the wildlife and landscaping and what have you, we used to visit the place and he used to teach us what to do, what, how, how we can do, how can we, we can learn art, especially in the wildlife. So I had interest in his work. When I started during my work, there was a certain man who had the interest in my work, Mr. Roberts. He had an art gallery in Ndola. I'm sure he's still there. Mr. Roberts had got African, quite African gallery. African gallery. It is in Ndola. Okay. And I told him, 
if he had the interest to buy to sell my work and he started by the you started selling my work so this was the first time that you started that was the first time work. that was that was in early 1970 between 1977 to 78 okay 1983 i started doing paintings with when i came you know i i i stay i was exiled in zambia for over 15 years. Then I came back to Malawi in 1982 in the October. By January 1st, I came to Malawi, I came to Blantyre. This is Blantyre. Yes. Yes. I contacted the city of Blantyre, Parks and Recreation Department. And I told them I've bought some collections of paintings. I want to hold an exhibition. I'm a world of painter. I was the first person to hold an exhibition at Blanta Zoo. And it was sponsored by Blanta City under Parks Recreation Department. Park and Recreation Department. Yes. yes. The manager, of, I remember the manager of uh, Park Circulation was Mr. Um, I forgot his name. Let me remember. Let me remember him. Just go on with the story. Yes. We'll come to you. Yeah, you see, sometime. Yes. Then uh, that, was, uh, there were, that was about 37 paintings right. that I hold. And uh, all the paintings were sold like hot cake. Really? Where, whereby Dr. Banda, the then was the head of the state, had interested to, if I could do one So Dr. Banda was the prime yes, minister? Was the president of Okay, yes. the president of Malawi. Yes. yes. Okay. I saw the, 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 he asked if I could do some, one petty for him, for this house. Then I did it. And I saw it. At that time, dollar was one to one. <laughs> then I saw the 950 kwacha, which means it was 950 dollars. <laughs> so, so the dollar... <laughs> that was 1983. 83? Yes. The dollar conversion was one to one. To one. one. Yes. And so for every kwacha, it was a dollar? Yes. Okay. Yes. I was very... And pleased. that was 900 dollars? 950. That was your first big sale? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then, I was told if I could have a life contract with the government, but not in writing. You understand what yes, I mean? Yes, yes. And I, I, went, Mr. I, went, I met Mr. Medi. Mr. Medi was the uh, chief of protocol of foreign affairs, whereby he wanted me to do, you know, I should be supplying painting every month because, you know, uh, for the state house. I see. It was a meeting with a lot of uh, visitors around the world. So I was selling paintings, two, three paintings, I was supplying two, three paintings. Every total 11 years. So you were kind of commissioned to yes, provide paintings yes, yes, for yes, uh, uh, different yes. visitors from yes, other countries? Yes, different countries, yes. Okay. Uh, I was commissioning, they were giving me a lot of money. Yes. Yes. At least. I was happy with the way I was doing because I knew very well that what I learned in Zambia has helped me to have where I am. Yes, yes. You understand what yes, I mean? Yes, I do. Yes. Then there was a, I was not selling to the government only. No. Even the started bodies, a lot of companies were buying my work. Almost 90% of that time at my work in this country. Okay. You understand? Okay. Now we're going to take a little break. Yes. About 10 seconds before you close it down. <laughs>